right, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at replacing values in pandas. Uh, if you're a data analyst or a business analyst, financial analyst, uh, you certainly are, have probably already encountered this. Probably pretty straightforward to do in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you a different way today to do this in uh, pandas. And this is extraordinarily valuable, uh, especially in real world settings where data is not always pristine and you do have to do some manipulation. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll take a look at imports. Our imports, we're gonna do, of course, pandas as PD. We're gonna also import NumPy as NP. Go ahead and get that in initialized. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create the raw data for us that we're gonna work with uh, today. So uh, let's call that first, <laughs> first name. And let's get in here, uh, I don't know, Jarvis, uh, Megan, and Reagan. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring in last name as a feature. And we're gonna have Smith, whoops, Smith. And Jones, and how about Brown? All right, and then from there, I'm gonna say visit uh, first spin. So let's pretend we're looking at a, uh, I don't know, some sort of uh, e-commerce site. All right, so we got, uh, we've got the first spin. What did what did uh, Jarvis Smith or Megan Jones or Reagan Reagan Brown spend? And so I'm just going to put in here values. In this case, I'm going to say negative nine 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 is just a, a, a holder showing that we don't exactly know what the what the value is. Okay, um, and the same thing with the visit two visit to spend <clears throat> we'll go here and just put in 37.55 and uh, 98.54 negative 999 All right. okay so there's our data frame I'm gonna go ahead and or I should say our raw data and then I'm gonna go ahead and do what we typically do which is PD data capital F for frame uh, bring in the raw data this is the typical recipe and the columns and we're going to go ahead and be explicit about those columns we got the first name and the last name and of course the visit that we talked about visit one spend and then we have visit two all right so we're good to go there and now i want to see if i can get this to present and there we go so again Jarvis Smith, Megan Jones, Reagan Brown. The problem with Megan Jones record is that visit one looks like we have a value there, but again, that value just means it's missing. It's not anything. Um, and then we um, also have a problem with Reagan Brown. She's got a missing value in visit number two. So let's go ahead and try and figure out a way to uh, replace those values. Uh, and then again, this is a technique you can use over and over again, and you most likely will. So we're going to do the data frame. We're going to hit replace or so we'll type in replace. And what am I replacing for? Well, I want to get rid of those 999s, right? And then uh, also I'm going to put NP again for NumPy and NAND. So that's what I'm going to put there as a substitute. So let's see what happens if you execute this. So now what we have is uh, wherever there was that these sort of things we actually have NAN which is again NAN just means not actually a number or not actual number uh, so that is uh, allows you to do different things um, in how you uh, if you, in your analysis uh, whether you use other items like scikit-learn or some other kind of machine learning workbench uh, or you code up something yourself you will want to go ahead and try and make use of uh, the not actual numbers um, I want to show you something else that's pretty common. Many of you will encounter uh, other machine learning or data sets that you might find interesting online, but there's a problem. They won't have this negative 999 uh, like I just showed you. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to copy this, okay, just so we can save a little bit of time, and I'll show you exactly uh, what you'll see. So instead of, whoops, instead of this negative stuff, which you'll typically C is a question mark. 
that's, that's text. It'll pass like this. And uh, we want to, I want to demonstrate to you kind of what that will look like. So, so that is really what the data will show. A lot of times you see this for Weka, W-E-K-A, in case you don't know what I'm saying, W-E-K-A, Weka. Um, we'll have a lot of uh, their data in an ARF, <laughs> sorry, uh, an ARF format. And so what you want to do is get rid of those question marks, particularly if you're not using the Weka uh, setting. So what you're going to do here is, again, replace those. You're going to say, I'm looking for this. I'm replacing with this. We do that, and now we go back to the to the NANDs, um, which is which is really 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 helpful. So again, the premise here: just wanted to showcase to you, you can replace values in pandas. You don't have to do what a lot of people do: take the values, put it into Excel, do what they know comfortably, bring it back into pandas, so they can do machine learning models. You can do it all in pandas. And um, this is a great demonstration and a great technique for you to be able to learn how to do that. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.
If you haven't already, you should go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We cover tips, tricks, and hacks for pandas and Python, especially for data scientists. Hope to see you on another video.